One day, this entire land will be under my rule. In Shu, after the death of Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome Nanjiang tribes. Elsewhere, Wu successfully repels the Shu attack on Yiling. When Zhuge Liang once more proposes an alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength. In order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu, Sima Shi. He was the eldest son of Sima Yi and the brother of Sima Zhao. When he and his brother were brought into the world, the kingdom of Wei was on the verge of collapse. During the chaos surrounding the death of the Wei Emperor, Cao Pi, Shu, and Wu launch a simultaneous attack. Together with his father and younger brother, Sima Shi made preparations to meet their enemies in battle. You don't look particularly concerned about the reports that Shu has launched an attack against us. With you and father around, there's not much left for me to worry about. The men of Shu are really committed to their cause though, aren't they? I mean, clambering across such a treacherous cliff face, that's pretty gutsy. Their leader, Liu Bei has taken the title of Emperor, claiming that he is the rightful successor to the Han Dynasty. The elimination of Wei is their core policy. Master Cao Pi, for his part, always believed that Wu and Shu had to be destroyed for the sake of our new age. War between us was always inevitable. Master Cao Pi, he was so young, is it just my imagination, or does it seem like so many talented people end up living unfairly short lives? His death certainly came far too soon. The troops have been hit hard by his untimely passing. Shu, on the other hand, has been waiting for this moment. With morale high and the genius of Zhuge Liang on their side, there is every chance they may make it all the way to Luoyang. Naturally, Wu will coordinate with them and launch an attack of their own, which will stop us from being able to send troops from Jin province. It's all so very dull. But we don't have time to complain, Zhao. We need to get ready for battle ourselves.
on in here. Come again. You need a horse? If you need me. General Sha Ho Mao is in trouble at Nanan. We must go to his aid at once. If we do, it'll weaken our forces here. It's our necks on the line if this place falls to the enemy. Calm down. Nothing good can come out of you panicking. Now, somebody explain the situation to me. I bring news. The Shu forces have stationed troops at Mount Qi, Mount Tiandang, and Ji Tin. 
General Sha Ho Mao is currently engaged in battle with the main Shu unit, led by Zhugo Liang at Nanan. Reports indicate that our forces are struggling. Master Sha Ho Mao will never be able to handle Zhugo Liang. We've got to go and help him. Zhugo Liang is using the path's bottleneck and attacking from multiple directions to overcome his inferior numbers. Who is in charge of defending Jiting? Zhugo Liang's disciple, Ma Su. Reports suggest that his forces are stationed on the mountaintop near Jiting. On the mountaintop of Jiting? Not the base? That is a rather boorish strategy. Although, it does present us with a good opportunity. The enemy will be unable to secure any fresh water from the mountaintop. We just need to seize the base of the mountain, and they will eventually run out of water. So I suppose the reason Shu has sent troops to Mount Tiandang is to split our front line between there and Chang'an. I believe so. We need to be very wary of the powerful officers who may well be stationed to the south of the mountain. Mm. Thank you for your report. What is your name? I am known as Jiang Wei, my lord. Ah, uh, I see. So you're the famous prodigy of Tian Shui. Zhuge Liang may be attacking from multiple directions, but he only has one target, Sheng An. He will likely focus his efforts on Ji Ting and Tian Shui in order to form a base for his invasion, Shang An. Zhang Wei, I need you to defend your homeland. Understood, my lord. We must prepare to march. Xi, Zhao, make sure you do not besmirch our family name in this battle. We must defeat Zhuge Liang and show no mercy to the Shu forces. They must never think of setting foot in this land again. Zhuge Liang's in Chiang Shui. This will be too much for Zhang Wei on his own. I have to help him. You know, I really want this place for myself. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take it. You're the man that is always by Ma Chao's side. I'll be happy to bury you alongside him. Come, I'm going to take you someplace nice. I really thought I was off to meet the young master there for a second, but since I'm still alive, I think it's time to scram. <laughs> Impressive. I find myself simply wishing to watch you in action. you on behalf of my lord. <laughs> Mount Chandung, defended by the Han clan. We must repel them and seize the land for ourselves. Is that moving? Zhao Yun? My sons, show you something. <laughs> Famous warrior of Shu, 
Xiao Yun. I would have preferred not to have had to face it. If we stop you, it will significantly lower Xu morale. Here is where we must snuff him out. It seems my advance has reached its end. For now, I must retreat. Thank you! We'll fall back to Mount Dingjun and regroup! Just the results I anticipated. Most impressive, brother. Your form in battle lacks even a single flaw. Strength and vitality. I will have to risk my life to stop you. Huh. I'm going to take you someplace nice. Attack that position! I capture! <laughs> Results I anticipated. Simultaneously attacking on multiple fronts. It is of no consequence. My strategies will see us through this battle. That location looks interesting. Let's capture it. That looks like an important area. We have to capture it. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Try and stop! Let's 
Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Our objective has been decided. All units, forward! Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! <laughs> it seems the future holds great things for you, my son. Serious this time! I have failed to secure the key locations. My failure could affect the campaign significantly. Alright! Stop it already! I can't bear this any longer! <laughs> I shall reign supreme! Just the results I anticipated. Chen Sang is the key stronghold of this battle. For my lord, I will claim it. I will never give Chen Song up! Face my defense of steel! If we can get inside the castle, our superior numbers will give us the advantage. We will use siege ramps to scale the walls. Enemy is using siege towers. In which case, four marchers on the walls. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. Our task is to attack that area. Let us not waste any time. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Even all my best laid plans were not enough to take Chen Song. I am very sorry, my lord. Everyone give a victory cry! We have defended Chen Song! <laughs> I shall reign supreme! <laughs> The results I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
under my control. <laughs> Suppose you are responsible for this formation? Impressive. In fact, I believe your genius is exactly what Shu needs right now. What Shu needs? Are you mocking me? I will not be toy. that position, no matter what happens. Jian <laughs> Wei has proven every bit as talented as I had heard. We must secure his services for our army. <laughs> Jiang Wei, I'm glad you're safe. You did a wonderful job holding out against Jugo Leon. Ah, Master Shahoba. Hey, Jiang Wei. What's up with you? You could be a little happier, you know. Do you not wish for us to pursue the Shu forces, Master Sima Yi? Zhuge Liang appears to have lured Xiang Wei to his side. <coughs> really? It is annoying. But the enemy has already learned our army's formation. Pursuing them now will only lead to heavy losses on our side. Therefore, we shall withdraw our troops from here, for now. Besides, we need to take time as a nation to mourn the loss of our leader. Understood, Master Sima Yi. I will order the men back to Luoyang. I shall see the defenses along the Hangzhong front. Many of General Shaho Yuan's men still remain there. Now, if you will please excuse me. My lord, you left us far too soon. If you had remained for another few years, we could have finally put an end to the chaos of this land. Sima Yi, you did well in holding off the Shu attack, much like my predecessor. I place great trust in you. However, I have been hearing strange rumors lately. Have you heard them as well? No, I'm not aware of these rumors you speak of. What are people saying? They say that the Sima family... No, they say that you are plotting to steal the Imperial throne. Forgive me, but those rumors have no basis in reality. Hmm, I wonder if that is true. There is a letter posted on the castle gates everywhere. It says that Master Sima Yi is plotting to conquer the land. Do you still pretend to know nothing about it? What? What kind of idiot would do something like that? Hiya, please take everybody outside. I wish to speak to Sima Yi and the others alone. 
As you command. The country is currently in chaos. Due to the sudden death of my predecessor, I do not wish this unrest to spread any further. Simai, forgive me for asking, but would you consider resigning from your post for the good of the land? How can you even ask such a thing? Have you any idea how much my father has done for the Kingdom of Wei? Silence, Zhao. You are standing before your Emperor. Forgive me, Father. If that is your wish, Your Highness, then I have no choice but to obey. Shi, Zhao, begin making preparations for us to return to Shucheng. Forgive me, Simai. Father, this incident with the Emperor is beyond unreasonable. I must admit that had Zhao not spoken out of turn like that, I probably would have said something similar myself. Right. See? Even she thinks it was outrageous. Father, you have to talk to His Highness now and get him to remove the sanctions on you. Stop making such a fuss. The Emperor is still young. Just because he has assumed the throne does not mean he has the power to restrain long-standing vassals such as us. But, Father... Besides, we will not remain in exile for long. My lord, an Imperial envoy has arrived. Zhugo Liang has invaded the Wujang Plains and they would like you to prepare a plan at once. I must say, the envoy was not very discreet. He told me everything. <laughs> at last, Zhuge Liang has made his move. I knew that it was only a matter of time. However, I was not expecting it to be so soon. I do not imagine him to be one to act out of desperation. Father, you mean you anticipated this? Did you accept your exile just so that Zhuge Liang would be tempted to action? And the rumors that you spread across the land, were they a way of counteracting Zhuge Liang's plan? <sighs> you really are something else, Father. You said the enemy is at the Uzhong Plains. Hmm. I see what Zhuge Liang is up to. Shunhua, tell the envoy that they cannot attack the Shu army at the Uzhong Plains. They are not to mobilize their troops, no matter what. Understood. <laughs> it seems your rest was a short-lived one, my lord. Shi, Zhao, prepare for war. We are heading to the Uzhong Plains. Place, huh? If you're not going to fight, then hurry up and run away! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Those shoe traders are getting carried away. Why is Lord Sema'i not moving? Will he allow us to be humiliated like this? Stay calm! The enemy is getting just as impatient as we are. No, no more. Let's do it! Let's show them 
just what we can do. <laughs> now wait! <laughs> that is exactly what the enemy wants us to do. Oh. <sighs> That's exactly right, everyone. No matter what Shu does, we must remain calm and in control. Xian Ying, you! Oh, that is Xin Shan Ying! Our lady has finally come. It looks like the enemy is just taunting us at the moment. So let us relax and prepare ourselves. Oh, of course, yes, my, my lady! <laughs> you continue to amaze me, young lady. You were able to calm the men so easily. But I am very serious. But we must fight our best if we are to have hope for tomorrow. Master Xin Pi, Lady Xin Xianying, you did well to control the troops and defend your position. It is safe to say that Shu has now lost its chance at victory. <laughs> I am happy to have helped. Anything to ensure that we can all keep moving forward. But Master Sima Yi, why is it that you say Shu has lost its chance at victory? There are two reasons. The first is that they are facing a shortage of provisions after their long journey. Eventually, they are bound to run out of provisions. Our taunts forced them to rush into battle. Now, we just need to wait for them to retreat, and then we can strike. The second reason is... My lord, Lord Man Chung has defeated the Wu army at Pafei. <laughs> this is it. Wu was supposed to be Shu's savior, but they have fallen to our forces. There is no need to wait for them to exhaust their provisions. We shall take the offensive. My showdown with Shu. No, Zhuge Liang himself. Is about to begin. We shall grind the Shu forces into dust here on the Wuzhang Plains. At last, Zhuge Liang is destined to meet a miserable end. nearly as well if they're hungry. I think we'll take these provisions. What was that? Hey there. I don't think we're gonna hand over the provisions without a fight. Keep the supply troops safe. Try to stop! Take the enemy's provisions from them. They're just not strong enough. I really need to train harder. Excellent. The provisions are safe. Great work, me. <laughs> I shall reign supreme. <laughs> oh, 
just the results I anticipated. Oh, 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 oh,